have with your opening thoughts on, on today's result? Yeah, I'm bitterly disappointed. Uh, I thought we had an incredible chances to win the game. Incredible chances to win the game. And uh, and then and then we, we lacked two moments of concentration and it cost us and uh, wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough, you know. The, the, these away games are moments where you get punished, and we got punished, and we didn't punish them. You know, I think Anthony Anthony probably had two one v ones, a couple of chances in the second half to score, uh, and a couple more chances as well. So I'm bitterly disappointed. We've got to keep calm. We've got to keep composed. It's uh, still a long way to go. It's still in our own hands, and we've got to make sure that we uh, we go again on Wednesday. Thank you. We'll get started here with Jeremy. Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, Coach. A very, very tough result to take. Um, I want to talk more about the second half because it seemed like the team, after those chances that you create, uh, that you mentioned earlier that Anthony uh, scuffed, um, the team just sort of, the, the energy level began to drop and Colorado was able to get closer and closer back in the game. So I just want to hear like what your thoughts were on the second half and um, just about how you can turn those blown chances into more goals. Well, I, th I think the difference between this game and the game before probably with Colorado is, is that when we didn't take our chances, it gave them more confidence because in the previous two games, we took all our chances and we'd won 4-1, four, 4-0. Four, 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 so I think it got to the point where Stefan made two or three good saves. We, we missed two or three one-on-ones, good chances. Then all of a sudden they got confidence from our, and we, and we, and they got momentum from that. And then they had a couple of chances. They hit the bar, I think a couple of times from long range and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm bitterly disappointed with the, uh, the second goal we give away. Bitterly disappointed. It's uh, unacceptable. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and like I say, at this stage of the season, you can't dwell on it. You can't. You can't. Uh, we're frustrated and disappointed. Uh, the players are as well. Uh, we know what we have to do. I think the game plan. The game plan was there for us, and we just didn't execute it. And uh, now it's now it's to Providence Park on Wednesday, which will be a, an amazing game in, a, in an amazing atmosphere. We'll take one last question. Uh, Sam, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, I would love to hear just your thoughts on uh, David Ajala's performance tonight. I know you've been really full of praise for him tonight. Um, obviously, he scores the goal. It looked like he and Diego Machara had a really strong performance in the middle of the field. Is that something that you think, obviously, this loss is disappointing. Is their performance something that you hope you can maybe take from this game to build on in you know this, this coming stretch where you still have two more games, very important games in such a short stretch? Thanks. Yeah, I, you know, I think David Ayala is the best central midfield player in the Western Conference by far. I think he's, his performance level is so good with the ball, without the ball, his, his tackling, uh, his distribution, his confidence. Uh, uh, I, I just don't see a better central midfield player in the, in the Western Conference at this moment in time. He's played to a very high level and uh, we're really pleased with him. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Phil. Good job.